Hey there guys and welcome back to Uncharted Drake's Fort and in the last part we got into the big ass boathouse and find some more clues that will lead us to the treasure of El Dorado. Oh crap. Okay, that was just a low blow, putting a freaking shotgun dude right around the corner. So unfair. Crap, there's still a guy on the stairs with a machine gun apparently. Yep, that's definitely like an AK or maybe the micro machine gun thing. Let's see, is there anything else here? Any ammo? Don't want to use the shotgun, that one sucks. I mean, really. The enemies here aren't exactly close by, so a shotgun would really not be that useful. And crap, there's overpowered grenade launcher guy again. Okay, nab some. Holy shit! Okay, now that's just mean. Oh, well, at least we don't have to do that much over again. Just need to climb up these stairs and watch out for Shotgun Dude. Come on out, Shotgun Dude, we know you're... Oh, there you are. How did I miss that? That's just weird. Crap, no headshot. Careful now, don't want to die again. I really should play third-person shooters more often. I'm really not that good at them, to be quite honest. Come on out. Oh, shoot him in the leg. That always works. I mean, hell, that even the enemies in this game behave pretty realistically. If you, like, shoot him in the leg, they limp around for a while. Crap, can't hit him from here. But I'm pretty sure he can hit me from there. So that's not good. Yeah, just whip out the AK, deal with all these guys. Then maybe I can move up to... Crap. I can move up to that cover and take out grenade launcher guy. Or whatever the hell kind of gun that is. It does leave behind nice little poofs of smoke. I will give it that. Whoa. Damn. That was too close. If I hadn't, like, ducked back there at the last second, I would have been one hit killed by that thing. Yeah, this is making aiming much easier. Trying to shoot through a staircase. Oh, crap. I need to take that guy out. Did I get him? No. Pretty sure I shot him in the head, but at least he's dead now, so it doesn't really matter anymore. Oh, what? You want some? Should have just turned tail and ran. I mean, I've killed like five of his friends in the same room, and yet he's still here. I mean, what realistic human would do that? Like, if you're in a room with... Like, you and five friends are in this creepy house in the middle of nowhere, and there's, like, some guy with a gun running around, and you also all have guns. And the guy takes out all five of your friends, then what would you do? Would you run away like a sane person, or just stand there and inevitably be killed? Oh, hey, we could have also gone up here. Oh, crap! What the hell are you doing here? Freaking ambush guy, that's what you get. Should have thrown you down the bloody stairs. Alright then, let's raise the portcullis. Yes, apparently those things are called the portcullis. I know from the time splitters. Like uh, episode 2 with Captain Ash. Ah, I got all the British friend. I really need to work on my British accent. It's not that great. Oh well. Yeah. What, it's closed again? Damn it. Okay, roll him up. Who'll put it back down? What the hell? Come on. Up. Oh, I didn't do it fully the last time. Okay. Ooh, hey, a nice balcony cutscene. Up. Oh, I don't see any boat, Nate. Looks like we missed our chance. No. There it is. On the other side of the harbor. Come on. Hey, you know what? Why don't I just wait here and you can, uh, swing around and come back and pick me up? <laughs> okay, what are you up to? Nothing. I just want to, you know, stay here and get some more footage. I'll be safe. Alright, fine. But promise me you'll stay put. Whatever that means. 
Now come on, Nate, you know just as well as I do that she's not gonna stay there. Pop open the lock, and here we go. Oh, enjoy platforming. Uh. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Yeah, luckily I started mashing X on time this time around. So, no fail. I know you all like to see me fail, or maybe not, but... No fails there. Ah, oh, crap, now who's shooting at me? Whoa! Did not see there was a gap there. Luckily, it wasn't a very big gap. Is there a lock on there? Oh. Okay, you need to shoot the doors out. Well, lucky me I shot at them anyway. Otherwise, I might have just jumped into them and fallen to my inevitable death. Which is probably not a good thing. Ooh, chapter 11. Who's this now? Wait, that's not one of Eddie's. Wait, if that's not one of Eddie's helicopters, then that means there's more people here looking for El Dorado, more potential enemies. Splendid. <coughs> Ooh, hey, M4. That's a pretty badass gun. Come on, you bastard. Although it is kind of low on ammo, but I guess I can just duck here for a while and just take out all the enemies I see with this. Yeah, that's not really that much of a threat. Poor grenade throwing for the win. Let's see, there's a guy up there. The M4 is actually much more accurate at long range than the uh, AK. Which does not really have that many bullets either. Okay. Crap, there's another guy over there. Could probably use with some more ammo. You there, do you have any ammo for me to use? Let's go check it out. Or maybe not. No, oh, it's one of them revolvers. And a grenade. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Wow, I had no idea that there was a turret there. Okay, you learn... Uh, you fail, you learn something, right? It's like trial and error. Yeah, that's not a good move, just jumping out of cover like... Oh, crap. No shotgun dude. Bad shotgun dude. You don't just rush up to people and shoot them in the face, that's impolite. Aw, oh, man. I need to... Oh, crap, grenade! Now, that one wasn't really even close. Uh, what am I gonna do? I need to get over there. Yeah, that guy just got owned. Let's see, I have four bullets left. That should be enough to take something out. And then I can just go back and get the AK and be on my merry way and damn they're just spraying me with grenades right now okay maybe I can get the guy up there or maybe not oh well take the AK and go yikes 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 okay so there's also a turret there which is kind of dangerous let's see how am I getting closer to that uh oh grenade Maybe there's some guy over here. Nope, there's one over there, though. Man, I need to get closer. I need to take out that turret. If I can take out the turret, I'm pretty much home free. Except that's kind of a hard thing to do from here, except... Especially because it has a little protection for the gunner. Which is annoying. Okay. Luckily, the turret's not really aiming at me right now. Yeah, that's not gonna do a thing. Eh. Doesn't that thing ever run out of ammo? Maybe if you just chuck some... Oh, sweet, my grenade actually got someone. That was a piss-poor throw. I'll admit that. Yeah, I'm not really too thrilled about the way they designed grenade throwing in this game. I mean, 
Sure, it's fun if you make use of the PS3 controllers like limited motion sensing abilities, but it's kind of makes throwing a grenade way harder than it should be. I mean, the way they handled the grenades in Uncharted 2, I am completely behind because that's just well executed. And I'll be executed pretty damn soon because I'm running out of ammo. Another minor flaw about this game, which luckily they addressed in Uncharted 2, is that you pretty much always have... You don't tend to... you always tend to be low on ammo. And yeah, crates do not make good cover against that turret, because they break. But at least now we can punch that guy's lights out for causing me all that trouble, douche. And you there, you will get it as well, knee in the groin. Let's see, did I miss any guys? Yep, there's still one down there. And now he's dead. Okay, now it's time to do the inevitable ammo roundup. Pretty sure there's no more enemy crap. Why am I always wrong? Oh well, at least this turret should make things easier. Die, pirate asshole. Yes, and then there's another guy over there. Who just got torn to pieces by a turret. I think that's all of them. Yeah. Or maybe not. Man, I really tire of being wrong all the time. Okay. Now that's all. I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the music just stopped being all action-y and stuff, so I'm guessing that's all. Pick up grenades, handgun ammo. Okay, let's do a quick tour of the room, see what we can find. Because, let's face it, you really don't want to be running out of ammo in a game where you like don't really have any other options. I mean, like in Infamous, if you run out of electricity, it's no real biggie, because... You can still, like, fire the uh, regular shots, which don't use any electricity. So you still have any long-range options. But if in this game, if you run out of ammo, you're pretty much screwed. You can't do a damn thing if enemies are far away, because by the time you'll get to them close enough to punch him, you'll probably be dead. Nah, I don't want the micro SMG anymore. I'm kind of sick of that thing. In the handgun, at least, allows me for some long-range accuracy. Let's see. No, I don't want that damn thing. It sucks. Don't want the shotgun either. Oh, missed some over here. Uh, any left in the center? Oh no, that's just one of them stupid revolvers again. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a good gun, but it only has six shots, so it's not really worth it. Unless you can maybe, like, find another handgun by the time it's empty, but that's always a gamble. But, yeah, let's just go up here, open up the portcullis, and be on our merry way. Okay, that opens that portcullis over there. Uh, before I played... Before I started Time Splitters LP, I had no freaking clue what a portcullis is. Well, guess video games are educational after all. Alrighty. Hey, there's the boat. Sweet, we can finally get out of this hellhole. Get this all on the boat now. Hey, Come on, let's go, let's go. How did you get here? You really need to see this. Now is really not the best time. No, Nate. What are you doing? You really need to watch this. It's just what? Hello. He's alive. Huh. I don't know, Nate. I mean... How much do you trust this guy? It's not exactly like they're holding them at gunpoint. I, I know. We got to get the hell out of here. Yeah, it seems weird. But no. Sully's a lot of things. 
But he's not a backstabber. Which way were they headed? Uh, northish. Yeah, towards the mountains. Okay, it's gotta be the monastery. Let's go. Uh, what if it turns out he's working with them? We either rescue him, or we beat the crap out of him. Hell, I might just beat the crap out of him anyway. Wow, Nate, you're a real friend. Anyways, see you guys in the next part of Uncharted Drake's Fortune. Thanks for watching.